clavicle yes honey yeah i'm pissed the fuck off right now like are you kidding me Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. I'm not exactly sure what vlog we're on right now because y'all know I've been MIA, I've been ghost. But whatever day it is, happy vlog -sember. So I'm actually about to get ready right now, put on some makeup and stuff because I'm going to film some videos later. But I am going to a dress appointment, which I'm super excited about. This wow this is so annoying <laughs> so i posted a vi i posted this picture right here and literally it's literally just the pose i ain't hiding nothing and somebody commented they're like i think but i'm not sure so i'm going to shut up and mind my business but the skirt and the arm i don't know very beautiful girl such amazing po poise and then somebody else wrote me too i think but i'm gonna and then I said, you think what? And then she was like, absolutely nothing, girl. You're very beautiful. That is all. And then somebody wrote, people are so obsessed with somebody in the spotlight being pregnant. It's kind of sickening. Then she replied, but we can just drop it because like I said, I was joking. So I'm not going to go back and forth with someone that's talking about nothing because being obsessed is definitely a huge stress. Have a great day. <laughs> Clearly, she's thinking that I'm pregnant, but I'm really not pregnant, y'all. Like, go look at my freaking Instagram video that I just posted. Your girl's stomach is... Look at this. My stomach's all flat, flat right here, okay? Look. What baby? What baby is that? There's no baby in there. Your girl's trying to get her body right. There's no baby in there. But that booty poking, though. Little booties matter, too, okay? <laughs> Anyways, that literally just got me sidetracked because I just opened my Instagram account. But nonetheless, I'm going to um this dress appointment it's the same dress um the same bridal shop that i went to the last time which i didn't show you guys any dresses from because i really liked a lot of them so i'm going back there trying on my favorites and i just hope that you know when i try it on this time i feel like this is my dress so i narrowed it down to um three dresses so out of those three dresses i'm praying that i can take my measurements and everything today and get this dress situation out of the way so that's going to be another thing down, which I'm... So I need to actually see how long it takes to get there because there's probably going to be traffic around this time. Oh, and I just got back from the gym, guys. It's what, day like five right now? Your girl's getting it in. Um, I didn't do any cardio today, though. I think I'm going to stop doing cardio because I feel like it doesn't really work for me. I need to do like hit. That's what I got to do. But anyways, let me see how far away this place is. Blush Bridal Lounge, Blush Bridal Lounge, Blush Bridal, Blush, 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 Blush. Now I'll be there by 2.45, so yeah, it's going to take me about 30 minutes to get there, so I got to leave by 3. I don't want to do much, but I want to look, I want to look decent, because I am going to film when I get back as well, so actually, I'll do a little bit more than usual. So I know Brian always jokes with you guys and says, oh yeah, she's like four months, she's three months. Like, he's just a jokester like that, but like, I'm really not. So I don't know if it's because he be saying things or whatnot, or people really just think I am because of my photos. Like, guys, when I tell you my latest photos, my boobies have just been like engorged and they've been like super perky and round. And that is because... For some reason, my period symptoms have been going, my period symptoms have been lasting like three weeks. Usually it lasts like maybe a week and a half or a week or so, but they've been lasting like three weeks. So literally like the whole month, my boobs are hurting, they're engorged, and they just hurt and they're looking like really, really big. So a lot of people thought that I was pregnant because of that. A lot of people were like, oh, your titty them looking real round and stuff like that. But like, nah, y'all. 
it's that period those period symptoms dang if i put on makeup i have to put on eyelashes whatever anyways i'll be back once my makeup is done gotta go let me spray my face before I forget where's my max oh. I'm about to call this uber or else I'm gonna be late if I call it any later and I'm gonna head to this appointment of course I'm gonna bring you guys with me you guys will probably only get a sneak peek but it's better than nothing so um yeah, let's call this Uber. If you're thinking about leaving, let me know. If you're thinking that you don't want to hurt me, go and I'm getting bored. Cause I can find another, so don't hold me back. You're not allowed to spend. Yeah, I'm pissed the fuck off right now. Like, are you kidding me? Bro. So I had an appointment today for, at Blush Bridal. They didn't even call me, they didn't even message me or nothing telling me that they closed the store early. Like, what the fuck? I'm pissed. I'm fucking pissed right now. Like, look at this shit. We have closed early today, blah, 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 blah. What the fuck? I'm so mad right now. Yeah, I'm so mad still. Like, what the heck? I don't know why they didn't call, why they didn't email, message, or anything. I feel like that's so damn unprofessional. I left them a voicemail, giving them my peace of mind. I left them a message on the knot, giving them my peace of mind, because that's just so rude. Like, literally just wasted, what, like $60 Canadian going to that place for no freaking reason. Like, Brit <sighs> pissed me off. But anyways, anything, everything happens for a reason, so... It is what it is. I'm gonna go home now. I'm gonna eat because I'm starving. <sighs> so annoyed. And I could have spent longer in the gym. Everything. Like, I could have spent longer in the gym. I could have been creating my videos right now. Could have been editing my vlogs. But no. Just makes me feel like I should have called too. Like, maybe I should have called. But, like, I never thought that they would cancel my appointment. Maybe they had an emergency, but still, it's still in like their duty as like a business to call their customers, especially if they had an appointment that day. Because anybody could have been coming from out of town. People come from out of town to try and dress it, so you don't do that to somebody. <gasps> I swear I have the worst luck with this place. Anyways, as I was saying, I swear I have the worst luck with this place because the first time I went there, I went on a day that wasn't my day like I, I thought my appointment was that day and it really wasn't so I went there for no reason that was the only bad experience and then obviously this experience but it's just like this never happens to me so 
anyways everything happens for a reason who knows why i wasn't meant to go there today who knows what was happening i don't know but i need to reschedule they need to freaking call me and reschedule before i go on this trip because your girl needs to get her dress before she goes on this trip because if i come back and i find a dress i'm probably gonna have to pay the um the extra fees to get it faster so i don't want to do that right <sighs> anyways my abs are hurting because your girl worked the freak out today my obliques are hurting right now Ooh, and i did a lot of weights um i didn't do no cardio today i just did strictly weight training and abs and that's it and i think that's all i'm gonna do now like i'm gonna do maybe a little bit of hit when it comes to my workout just a little bit like 10 minutes of hit and that's it i'm not gonna do no treadmill car cardio no more just i don't think it really works for me so anyways i'm gonna go find something to eat and then i'm going to start editing this video that needs to go up so i will see you guys soon uh, i was wearing my bougie coat thinking like okay your girl's gonna find a dress today wear my bougie coat you know this is a yes to the dress kind of coat but it didn't happen but no it was really cold outside it's like what four degrees celsius so that's why i'm wearing this coat but it's so warm feels like a big blanket and it's so soft i love it okay guys so we are currently in my closet i got so much stuff everything that's on the floor is all new stuff and i still have all of those boohoo bags out there in the front so we gotta get to this so i thought that i would show you guys what i got from fashion nova as well as misguided just because i don't think i'm making separate videos for them on my main channel so we're gonna go through everything that i got and i tried on a lot of the things already and a lot of the things were actually really nice so that's exactly what i want to show it to you and because i want to write it off okay so welcome to my closet this is my closet this is where we're gonna do this little casual impromptu haul showing you guys what i got so let's be begin okay so we are gonna start with fashion nova y'all know i used to do videos for them a long time ago i kind of got over really like promoting that brand just because they are cheap as hell like they don't like to pay up good money um only to like celebrities and stuff so i kind of just stopped promoting them in that sense and then I've heard that they're stealers of different people's, you know, um, designs and stuff like that. But I can't lie. When I see something that I want in there, um, which is just recently. I haven't bought from Fashion Nova for a really long time. This is like my first purchase in like months. So anyways, I, when I go on vacation and I see something that I really like on there, I buy it. This is the first dress. It's like a satin material, but it's really, really thick. Um, I love the color. I bought it mainly because it's purple. The only issue I have with this is that, bro, this fitting at the boot part is just not popping. Like, it should be a little looser um, right here because there's no movement. There's no, I can't, um, I can't adjust the straps in the back. And yeah, I just, it needs to be looser so it can like hang a little lower. Right now it's just like, you know it's like that and i don't really like that but the material on this bad boy is amazing it's really thick and i i just love the color and then this is the back super cute okay so this is the next dress it's similar to the other style that i showed you um i love this dress as well the color is just so beautiful um it's nice and thick material like the purple dress this one doesn't have any designs in the back, but it does have this adjustable strap. So after I, I'm able to adjust this, it's going to fit like perfectly and it's going to show enough boobage area and enough like chest area to the point where I actually like it. So kind of has like a slight cowl neck, but not really try not to show my nipple. But um, yeah, I really love the style of this dress. It's really, really cute. And just so you guys can see, it does go all the way down to like my cab area, but really, really nice material. And I'm happy with this purchase. 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 Okay, so this is the next dress. It's called the In the Mesh dress. Um, I love the color on this bad boy. It is so beautiful on my skin color. And um, I love that it has adjustable straps. So I actually need to adjust this because it keeps like falling over and like 
this whole thing keeps spilling over but y'all it has the ruching going on here so if you have a food baby or whatnot like it's not really gonna show it's gonna like kind of cover up and like these fits for africa like oh you can't tell me nothing boo <laughs> but yeah i really like this it's so cute it's like um a midi or maxi length i guess but y'all the color on this is insane and i did get an extra small in this just because i wanted it to fit real real snug but it's still very movable stretchy so if you buy this dress you can definitely go a size down and it also has an invisible zipper in the back as well which i couldn't zip up all the way but this is a really cute dress all right y'all so this dress right here is another one of my favorite it's called the slit side maxi slit side new york maxi dress or something like that everything will be linked down below but bit how cute is this the slit is a little bit high so um i would definitely wear a certain type of panty with it or whatnot or even just maybe stitch it up just maybe like one inch or so but y'all i love this dress so much i got it in the extra small as well just because the material looked kind of stretchy um it's the perfect whoa <laughs> it's the perfect length for me because i am short and it doesn't drag too much on the floor or anything especially if i wear heels it won't drag at all but y'all this is so cute and i love the neck the neckline right here very very flattering on my body type and my chest area and look at all this ooh, clavicle yes honey so I really love this dress and like a bit is about to slay in Ghana with some heels on. The year of return for real. <laughs> um what is going on here? Okay, so I've seen this online. I love the colors and everything, but bro, this material is not it. It is so cheap feeling. It is so cheap feeling. It feels, it's not even like a pound. It's like, <laughs> I don't even know. It feels like a feather, which is so weird, which is obviously great for vacation, but like the material just seems cheap to me. Um, and it's way too long. Like, it's so darn long. Look at this. What the heck? Even standing on this stool, it's going all the way out on the floor. And it just fits very, very poorly. Like, it's very ill fitting on me. Like, look at this. It is not a, and I got this in a size small. If anything, I should have got an extra small, but the quality is just not it for me, and I'm definitely going to return this. There is a zipper that goes all the way up more, which will probably snatch me in better, but like, no, I'm gonna pass. So this next item right here, I can't remember what it's called, but everything will be linked down below. So I bought this just for an idea that I had for, um, for engagement photos like I want to be wearing you know something real classy and black and I want Brian to wear black and it's just gonna be like a fire photo like a city maybe type photo or just in the desert or something I don't know I just want like bomb 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 both of us wearing black sexy so this was the dress that I picked out for it I don't think it's bad at all I kind of actually like it I do wish it was more fitted on me and tighter got this in a size small definitely could have got an extra small but again, the quality is really good. It's well made. It's pretty heavy. Um, just, it's just not, it's just not tight enough for me. Like it needs to snatch me in more so I can feel like, mm. you know, mm. <laughs> but like, let me know if you guys see the vision that I was going for. I will insert some photos so you guys can actually see the kind of vision, but, um, yeah it's not it's not terrible but i think i might return this as well just because of the fit and then maybe get an extra small but we'll see and y'all this is low-key giving me tribophobia vibes with all these circles yeah <laughs> okay guys so that was everything that i got from fashion nova um i was gonna do misguided but i do have a lot of stuff so i might make that a separate video or i might put that in another vlog i'm just way too freaking hot right now to try on any more clothes i'm about to turn this air on because whoo these lights and in this house is just real hot so i think i'm gonna end the vlog off here hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and i will see you in the next one love y'all deuces